should be on. Hello everyone! Welcome back to this playthrough of Super Robot Wars Z310 Goku. We are indeed back here. So, just a quick reminder here. We're probably only going to do two stages today because at the end of stage 3 there's the first route split. It goes from chapters 4 to 11. I've put up the three options. Have you? Yes. I haven't noticed that. So we can go to the Green Earth, in which case we get the DX, the Turn A, the Zambot, the Gunleon, and the Die Buster pilots, minus the Die Buster itself. Or we can go to the Blue Earth, in which case we will, after a single chapter, either go to North America, in which case we get a lot of double O units, all double O units basically, uh, and... That's pretty much it for that bit of the route split. Or on the other, other route split. Or on the other bit of the route split, we get um, the Code, Code Gas units, the Votums units, and the Wing units. Yep. Uh, and then all together on that route, when they come back together, we'll also have the uh, Shin Getter, Big O, the Freedom, the Destiny, and the Virgola. So just think about it. Of course you don't get to keep that. What? The new? No, of course you don't get, um, the Tall Goose. Not at the start. It's the only wing unit you don't get. <laughs> so, off we go here. When last we left off, we failed! The world was... The world is screwed. Um, human... We broke through the prison of time, but that just led invaders from another... Earth to start flocking to our Earth. They attacked, and we were powerless to stop them from descending to the planet. So that's where we left off. Prepare for time skip. The organization composed of various other worlds. Sidreal. Let's put that as planets here. They appeared from beyond the dimensional wall. Well, and in that name began attacking the Earth. Their firepower that came from that other planet was incredibly overwhelming and quickly crushed the Federation forces. Just showing a little bit here. Yeah, Jeggins and GMs. Yeah, I don't think those can send up the Angelois. It's no good! There's far too many of them! I've got no use! Give the order to retreat! Don't give up! We fall back, then who will protect this place? But, damn it! This way the earth will! Please note, I'm not pressing anything there. Within two months of their offensive start, 75% of the planet had fallen under Sidereal's control. In the name of the Emperor, Australius, they created the New Earth Empire, read as Gaia Empire, and at their capital created a palace known as Wrath Babylon. Okay. There's their Emperor. Again, I'm not pressing anything here. Not fully sure what he says it sped through, but... Extolling a soldier and telling humans to give up. They began creating terminal bases in the areas that they controlled. And connecting them via uh, paths of light that they called ley lines. At this point in time, almost the entire planet had been covered in the network of light. Federation military, which had lost its many of its commanders, there was continued resisting in various areas. As they were at this point not but a candle in the breeze. But even so, they refused to surrender. Her and continued the fight until now. 
for the sake of what they believed in and what they must protect. So, it's been two months and 75% of the world is now under control of alien invaders. Great! We're back to the Chinese Federation here. Anyone remember the Chinese Federation? You know, the good old Chinese Federation from Z2. Where Zero got to help him. That place. Yep. As previously announced, this town is now under the control of the Gai Empire! All citizens, form a line here! At this point in time, we are to carry out out the Imperial Civil... Imperial... Uh, what's the word? What I'm looking for? Um, naturalization process? Nationalization test? Something like that. Basically, they're testing the people here to see if they are fit to become members of the Gaia Empire. Okay. Are you going to become a civilian of the Empire, or are you just going to be a slave here? Build side. Those who successfully pass this test will become members of the Empire and be brought before His Highness. A test? What are they going to do? But if you pass that, I'll become a civilian of the Empire. If that happens, you'll at least be kept alive. I shut it. You really want to be their dog that badly? It's all in order to survive. What else can we do? Are you an idiot? It, do you know what happens to the people who pass? I mean, don't they get taken to the Imperial Capital of Wrath Babylon? And get to live there as civilians? I wonder. According to the rumors I've heard, no one who's ever pa been sent there has been heard from again. What? It's... Is that true? I wonder. Er. Er. But I've also heard that if you fail to pass, you get dragged away somewhere else and into the hellish labor. In other words, as soon as they'd arrived, our lives were already done for. You over there! Er. Quick jabbering! <coughs> Come filthy earthlings! Things. You should count your lucky stars that you are simply allowed the chance to become a member of the Empire! <laughs> What's with you idiots? You, could, you attacked our planet on your own? Hone? Or rampaging however you like? You look down on us! That abusive tug of yours! You are not fit to be a m even have the chance here! Her I PROCLAIM YOUR EXECUTION! Please stop this! Who are you? Are you trying to get in our way as well? We'll not allow you to continue flaunting the laws any further. Flaunting the laws? Because His Imperial Majesty himself is the law of this planet! And we, his faithful soldiers, are success to carry out his will! Quit with your jabbering invaders. You're going to have a girl at us too? <laughs> exactly. Get up! I don't think you'll be able to do whatever you want for much longer, side reel. Thank you, Hibiki. Suzune, did you forget we were supposed to be infiltrating here? I'm sorry, but you don't need to apologize. After all, I could stand back any longer either. Even so, I think it's about time. Who are you people? Shh, you're not to cause a fuss here. Hope should be coming soon. Just let everyone know around know without letting the Imperial soldiers find out. Help will be coming? Who on earth are you? We're part of the Federation's Independent Squadron Z Blue. And we're here to save you. Z Blue? Yeah, 
I mean, no one knows who we are. Actually, probably a lot of people know who we are. Chapter 1. Gaia Empire, or the New Earth Empire. Since they decide to say it's Gaia, I'll just stay with that. What's happening? We have reports, sir! Her. It appears that resistance agents have infiltrated the city! <laughs> sir, looking to throw us in a into chaos and evacuate the civilians? Set out the soft defense squadron! Don't let a single civilian escape! Also, look at what they've got. Isn't that cute? Okay. Those bats have shown up, sir! So, what do we do? Ooh. With our equipment we've got here, we can't fight against mobile weaponry! You don't need to worry. All we need to do is guide the civilians to safety. Sizune. Hey, how's the situation? We've gotten a report from Major Kalanin. The North Empire is pulling out their foot squadrons and leaving the rest of the mobile weaponry. They're trying to slaughter the civilians then? We'll take them on then, Hibiki. Understood. Come here, Jenian! It's been a while since I did his voice. I'm probably screwing up, but it's cool that we get to see this sequence again. Tomorrow in the eyes. What? Where the hell did that thing come from? I heard that the dimensional site it's on this planet was at an absolute minimum level. Biki, the champion's running at full power. Even though we don't have enough equipment, and Ichi was able to do pretty well, huh? Looks as if the unmanned units are have deemed us to be our targets and are closing in. Oh, we're busy fighting off the demons. This major Kel and should be able to evacuate the civilians. Alright. We've got to deal with what's coming after this as well. We need to clear them out as fast as we can. Destroy all enemies, don't let Hibiki die. That's our point is destroy them all within three turns. So yeah, Hibiki. He's got focus plus. Uh, Daunt, which is reduce enemy's will, and instinct okay, now. Okay, so he leveled up enough. He leveled up a bit. So off we go. And both their portraits Also no. now. Yeah. Suzune isn't wearing her glasses anymore, or at least looks different. Yes. These are Damon police models. Don't think your simple card models will be able to win against us. This. We won't let you lay hands on any of these civilians! Yeah, my voice room is not doing so well here. Hmm. Get out of here, side reel! Yes, they do look different, and they have different attacks. Vaguely. I mean, they're all similar, but they're using slightly different names. The closest bit of advice I can give you on voice is, the voice you were using was closer to the sort of voice you use for Squall. Are you saying when that- When you're joking about Squall's Warigatana, or whatever it is. Warigata. Halfway well, I mean emotionless. That's yeah. different. Yeah. As note, it's got, like, stun launchers rather than laser launchers there. Do solid punishers. It's been quite a while since we've seen most of Hibiki's attacks. And thankfully, because this is post the previous game, can go into guy mode and stay there. Mm-hmm. Once we hit high enough well. Thinks the Nitro Pikes will be enough. You don't trust the AI? I mean, it's cheap enough. Yeah. The difference there is negligible enough that it doesn't really matter. I can understand that. 
Also, in this game, Hibiki will be getting an interesting skill. He will be having a skill thrust upon him. Okay. You know. Part. Oh, that. So, um... <laughs> this game has a... Very interesting glitch. It may be intentional. I doubt it. But there's a glitch in-game where every time a unit, like, combines or things like that, it resets certain things since it counts as an entirely different unit. Just like how, um, whenever we had the God Mars change from Gaia to God Mars, it fully healed and stuff. Thing is, that also refreshes any semi-consumable items equipped. Which means that Hibiki is very good because you can give him a fragment of miracle. I don't think you can because or in Slum's secret anymore. treasure or whatever it is that applies a bunch of spirit commands. Uh, and you can use it up to three times per map because of Hibiki's uh, upgrades. So I would move closer to the top ones personally. No, I'm just checking what all of them are at. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that seems a pretty good range. And now we've seen pretty much all of Hibiki's attacks. I may or may not actually wind up doing that. But I will definitely be putting a consumable item on Hibiki. Why are you going this? Eh, whatever. Well, I mean, thing is, you've burned through a lot of his stuff, and he's not going to be able to one-shot it. Yeah, Nitro Pikes are more than enough for most of the rest. Since they're all at 300 HP. Or thereabouts. And boy, do we get a lot of starting characters here. Yep. Guy mode has been approved. What are you going to? Yeah. Sure. There's no reason not to. Interestingly enough, it did not refresh his energy. But hey. Here we go. And here goes. The taboo known as hope. As if an AI could win against me. The only thing you're gonna see is the world of hell! World of death? Whatever. You're going to be seeing hell here. If an AI could do such a thing. So this phase one's cleared. Don't underestimate things, Speaky. Reinforcements are arriving. Aren't those familiar? Yep. Earth type unmanned units. So move this route. The card squadrons from the surrounding area, huh? We'll be fine. Our reinforcements have arrived as well. Just a little bit to start off there. Safe Hibiki! Just like you see here, you don't need to worry. Well done, Kamashiro. Part of it with the main squadron. Understood. Infiltrating enemy he layers in its and creating confusion is one of his specialties. While Hibiki was trying their attention, we were able to approach the town unnoticed. Let's see. I received a report from Major Cullinan, and then the local resistance group that the civilians have been evacuated. <laughs> so it's left us for us to take on the Empire. Er, resistance groups, take care of the civilians. Understood. Thank you for your assistance. We're counting on you, Z Blue. Leave the civilians to us. All that's left now. Clean up these puppets. Good work, Kabiki! The bar and I'll back you up! No, please no. Thanks, boss. Ah, I'll leave it. After all, it's all for Mrs. Zune's sake, right? You bastard. I'll pay you back for that when this finishes. <laughs> In order for that to happen, you've got to stay alive, though. Right, Kabiki? Yeah. 
Looks as if the enemies have set those weapons to auto mode. The way side real always fights. But everyone, keep your guard up. Up. With some forces they've got there, it's possible they'll send in reinforcements. We need to swiftly take out the enemies and escape this area. I'll be sure to teach you, side real. There are people in this place who won't let you do as you like any longer. Destroy all enemies. Don't let a battleship die. So, um... That's just an interesting little point here. Uh, we've got the Regis. Oh, that's interesting. Amaro has an interesting skill set. He has new type level 5. Okay. Attack again. And a new thing. Single attack. Whenever you target a single enemy with a hit all attack, it deals an additional 10% damage. Okay. So I'll just quickly, I guess, run through our entire set here to see if there's anything new. So yeah, we've got Macross. Still Macross. The Macross. Yes. Command level 3, support defense level 2, energy save. We have Nail Argama, Captain Auto. Command level 1, prevail level 2, will up on enemy destroyed. Uh, also note, Alto is back in his uh, VF-25 rather than the Durandal. Prevail level 6, will plus 3 per turn, dash, and strong luck. Same as always, but you've got the nukes from the start. Yep. Uh, Luca has support attack level 1, ignore size level 1, and uh, he has the part supply skill, which lets him use slotted parts on anyone else. Um, so if you could just check that there. Probably fine. Yeah. Same as before. As the map attack. I mean, it's it's still the map attack. Over here we've got the Regis, which is, same as always, beam cannon and mega beam cannon. He's stuck with Hathaway for some reason. Who I note does have fewer kills. Level 2 new type, strong luck, support attack. Uh, and uh, tactical... That's nice. He's got uh, tactical weight. Or there's got to be a better way of putting if whatever you wait, this is. Get plus five SD. Uh, so on your phase, if you do not move, you gain accelerate and zeal and plus five SP to every main pilot in your team. Okay. Does not take effect if you're the subunit. Okay. Yeah. But it's it's pretty nice. Let's you double up. We have Clouseau here. Command level 1, ignore size level 2, see through encounter level 6, with uh, Sergeant Mao. Command level 1, will plus 10, guard, will up on hit. I mean, they're just same as before. Over here, we have Sosuke. Hi, Sosuke. Prevail level 5, strong luck, counter level 6, ignore size level 1. Arbalest is just the same as before. And Kurtz with support attack level 2, ignore size level 1, hit and away, and that terrain mastery skill that we saw a little bit in, in Rengoku of uh, the terrain bonuses are doubled. Are doubled. Yeah. So that's nice. Over here we've got the Mazinger, still the Mazinger. And with Sayaka. Uh, quick note here, Mazinger has a new attack. It has rocket punch combination here for 40 energy, range 1 to 2. 4,900 4, attack. And also, Koji has prevail level 6, will plus 3 per turn, and guard. Saka, prevail level 4, support defend level 2, and uh, parts equip, parts supply. Same as before, still has the Mazinger army. Shell, support attack level 2, support defend level 1, hit in the way. way. Has reactionary weaponry available. Clan, prevail level 3, will plus 10. Guard. Nothing special. Zeta. New type level 5. Counter level 5. Will up on dodge. Uh, Zeta. Zeta. I can't remember if the Zeta's got anything new or not. Yes, Zeta does. Zeta has the long beam saber. Uh, He's able to use his beam rifle as a sword. It's, it's got a bayonet. Attack. Yeah. Over here we've got four Murasame in the Bjarlint custom. So, that rat split at least keep. was canon. 
She is a Cyber New Type level 4 with Support Attack level 2 and Counter level 4, and it's exactly the same as before. Emma and the Mark 2, nothing it's special. Support Attack, Will Up on Destroy, Prevail, Fa, New Type level 1, Repair Skill, Support Defense level 3, Guard. And then we've got the Unicorn here. New Type level 5, Prevail level 4, Will plus 3 per turn. Um, and when you class up to destroy mode, it unlocks a new attack, Beam Magnum Consecutive Fire. And it's got an eye field now. Yeah. Plus cats in a Rizal. New type level 2, plus 3 will, will up on hit, terrain mastery. Okay. So they're trying to make some of the worthless characters a little bit better. Wait. One other thing to check here, because just have to. Boss Boro. Boss. He does not have the Kurogane attack. Oh, yes. He has Prevail level 5, Support Attack level 2, and two new skills. Um, one that's supposed to be like Heart of the Underdog or something like that. Which is, if your enemy has higher skill than you, you deal 10% more damage, you take 10% less damage, and you gain 10% hit and dodge. Okay. And survivability. Uh, at above 130 will, if you have more than 25% HP remaining, you will not be destroyed once per turn. You'll be left with 10 HP. Can only trigger once per map. Okay. He's boss. He's a persistent guy. He can survive even lethal blows. It's so. grounded, isn't it? Hmm? Um. Yeah, probably. Because Jagan. <laughs> well, it's gotta be on land. Good mm -hmm. enough. Although I should check. Yeah, focus. Focus, mercy. Focus and Hathaway, you just you go and lead. That's only if you wait that you get the bonuses. Yeah, I know. I'm putting him in the lead because he's better at land combat right now. Okay. So yeah, we've just got these uh, barrel ants or barrel ant or whatever you want to call it. Luca! Just analyzing the data we got from Major Cullinan. Fortunately, we wasn't able to find Miss Cheryl or Miss Ronka. Is that so? Where are you, Cheryl? Ronka? Don't tell me you've been captured by Sidereal. So, you know, just all these little fights give us a little bit more as to what the state of the world is at the moment. 70% conquered. 75%. 75% conquered. Major characters are... Uh, no one's got any clue where they are. Just all around bad position to be in. Also remember, you can switch to uh, humanoid mode for better land combat bonuses. Missile launcher? Missile launcher. So you're gonna get a kill. This is bad. Looks like the Empire. The Empire's rate of conquering the Earth has been higher than we'd expected. At this rate, it'll be only a matter of time until they conquer 80% of the planet. We're here in order to prevent that from happening. Crush the resistance! Let's do this, Friday. It's power levels to maximum! Understood. She's got an AI now. Its name is Friday. Does she actually have an AI now, though? I do not believe it counts as being one. But she's got a support AI on her unit. That's gotta count for something, right? Yep, no. Yeah. Does not count as a unit, but... No subpilot. After all, that's reserved for Sosuke. I mean, Sosuke's AI is special. It's maybe a person. Only maybe. Also, yes, looking at the list of things, Chamber does count as a subpilot. Audrey, where are you? Now that we can't make into contact with Edson Ritty anymore, am I not going to be able to meet you again? Focus already, Ben Hunter! The enemy's right in front of us! I know. After all, I don't intend to die here!
He does have Accelerate if you want that. He cannot focus at the same time. Oh, I forgot to check Ozma, didn't I? Yeah, there shouldn't be any differences. Nothing major. You got Ozma and Canaria. You just got Wall if you want it. Nah. Actually, yeah, because that is kind of bad. What on earth is the Empire doing kidnapping civilians? Just you wait, Rucka! I'll be sure to save you! Again, since we didn't see it much last time, because this is movie version, it's got both Rucka and Cheryl painted on it. Uh, Koenig Monster. Those things have surprisingly high HP for what they are. Okay. Yes? Just looking at the route splits. If you do not take the Japan route, or uh, the Blue Earth route, mm -hmm. and then you don't take the Restrained Neo Zeon route, now Zeon route at route stage 36. It is physically impossible to get Gune Gus. Well, it is designed in such a way you are supposed to do one or the other. Gune is Gune. Because Gune I mean, requires I... six points. And you can get two points out of route. All I was going to say is that, I mean, Gune is Gune. I don't know how many people actually care about Gune, but... Let's go, Sosuke! Hey, we'll take care of this fast and get back to Japan, where your beloved Konami is waiting! Guarding Chidori is my mission. Don't say anything pointless here. See? Sergeant. The unnecessary thing is speeding up. Is speeding up the mission in order to complete it. Is that correct? You shut up too. If you've got the, if you've got the time to be saying nuts, it's like that. That take out the enemies in front of us. Understood. But I've confirmed the fact that you were in high spirits today, Sergeant. There's the Zeta and the Mark II. The poor Jegan is being attacked. Haha, <laughs> from long enough away that he can't do anything. Ah, oh, uh, Jegan right. ace. <laughs> Jegans are not good. The Echo's Jegan's probably decent. Yeah. The current situation, King the New Back. That seems impossible, huh? Sir Murrow? I'm fine, Hathaway. More importantly, don't do anything crazy. After all, well, Pred entrusted you to me. Yeah! Just back me up here. Here. I'll do everything this rich eyes can! Rich eyes can! Rigo eyes. That look good to you there? Yeah, it's fine. Nah, I should turn on the art. Oh well. Even if they are on manions, there's quite a few of them. Hmm. Depending on fa depending on the situation, support the other teams. Understood. Be careful, Lieutenant Emma. Wow, two kills for the Mark II. It's quite a bit early on. Micro missiles. Yeah. Everyone loves the missiles. So yes, since you're going to be stuck with a lot of um, poor characters, poor characters early on, they made sure to make them a little more interesting. Crosses and Rambolts. Block Rush. And I need to mess with the soundtracks here. Why? 
Do they have the target? Yeah. So we have, you know, some better... Some cooler sounding music for these Macross units. They deserve better one than what they have right now. Oh, the battleship section, really. No, I mean, yeah. Maybe, Maybe a battleship, but... Are you also going to change Hibiki's theme? No. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, also, it's a new thing for uh, Z3 Tengoku. You can change by attack? Yeah, you can change by attack. Okay. So, let's see. And it takes a little bit to be able to set all. So I'll just set them all to the end of triangle from the wings of goodbye. Except Alto. I mean, Alto deserves... Lion. Yeah. That's important to note. So I have to take a little bit more time <laughs> for the transforming units. That's hilarious, but also a pain. Okay. Things you would not know otherwise. I honestly would not have expected that, so... Malzinger, Arbalests, Jeggins, Regis, those guys. Yeah, that all ought to be fine. Sure. Alright, there you go. Great. A little bit of early tweaking here since we're in the early phases of the game, but hopefully I won't have to do that again. At least not on stream. Oh, that looks like a good pump. Also remember that uh, those are post-movement. So I would move over and smack that whole group there. Yeah, that is the plan. You can't maximum break map attacks. Sadly. I don't know if it's going to kill. I don't think it will. What if I do this? All he's got there is mercy. Eh. He can't focus, but it ought to be fine. Ground-based back weapon system. At least it's hovering a little above ground. Yeah, I mean, did you expect it to be just dragging, scraping along the ground? Maybe. I do not think Amuro would be that stupid. But Camille would. Camille and his excellent landing in the Mark II, where he destroyed an entire dock. What can I say but, you know... Edward Moreau simply said, ah, excellent landing. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. So... Just think of it that way. The only other unit with full tag stars at the moment seems to be the Mark II. Yep. Hmm. Be sure to turn on the art if you use that attack. Uh, yeah, sure. So, new attack for Camille. The long beam rifle. Long beam saber. We just keep up small scale fights like this, we're eventually going to get surrounded. Can't lose your concentration here, Camille. If you don't focus on what's in front of us right now, you won't be able to survive. It's just like you say, Four. But now I just have to give everything I can to this fight. Help me out here, Four! Alright, Camille. Yep, the Bjarlink custom we didn't get to see too much of last game. 
I used it a lot because I had it on Daguza. Paired with the unicorn a lot of the time. Small little beam rifle, but you're fighting a pair of new type equivalents. And now here we go. His beam bayonet. Looks pretty cool. Lots of very pretty explosions and pinkish smoke. That's going to be another, uh... But not a kill. ...thing we're going to have to determine. What? Alto's Triangle. Ah, yes, because I believe you do, in fact, get to choose. If you get two... If you get two points, so taking one of two route splits, you get to choose. Who should Alto end up with? Do you go movie canon? Do you go actual can- you can't go actual canon. Yeah. Since, in series, he chose, uh, neither and or both. He chose the sky. Sure. He showed no interest. Now that almost all of the Eurasian continent has fallen under Satro's control, well, our victory here might be completely pointless. But even so, we have to show them. There are still people on this planet who are willing to fight them. Delta 1 to all units. Please get out of the firing line. I have high hopes for all of you. And that attack looked rather different. What was that? Good question. I don't fully know what you used. That was the weaker hit all. Uh, the quarter cannon. Okay. Didn't look like it actually used its cannon there, which is why I was surprised. But I personally think that this, the end of triangle, is pretty good. Ah, uh, Captain Otto. Enemy units are approaching the ship, sir! Even if we aren't able to get into contact with them, I know that the rest of Z-Blue's fighting in other places. So we need to keep on going, too! We'll blow down anyone in our way! As a member of the Federation military, we'll take you down! I mean, that really doesn't look like it should be the main cannon, does it? No. It looks like that thing under the under the deck should be the main cannon. Thing under the deck? Yeah, it looks like there's a... No, the main cannon should be the one that pops out of the side for the, um... Map attack. That's my thought on it. I mean, that thing. Oh, yeah. That that does look like... It there's looks a like barrel a barrel underneath the middle flight deck. Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be far more fitting for a main cannon. Hey, Luca, get kills. Because I want to ace you as well. And what's Luca's ace bonus? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you just want to ace him. The ace bonus itself doesn't matter. I just want the tag star. Uh, for pairing with the Aquarian. Although the Aquarian's probably going to get paired with the Aquarian, isn't that? Eh, that depends. It takes a while to get the Aquarian. Aquarian? Aquarian. <laughs> we get both Aquarians. It stops sounding real when you say it enough, doesn't it? Vaguely. Vaguely. Midgardsma. Let's crush a Mabiki! If we leave these guys alone, they might even want up attacking Japan! Yeah, I'll crush the resistance here, put a stop to their advance. <laughs> That's some nice guts you've got there. That's the fitting of my, I, boss's partner. <laughs> the one you want to be partners with is Misune, though, isn't it? Oh, you realized? Just you wait, boss. I'll be sure to deal with you about that after we clean things up here. This is bad, boss. This 
You should have known that jokes like that wouldn't... Maybe you wouldn't get jokes like that? You idiots! I'm deliberately taking the role of villain here in order to get to make you fired up for this fight! And to think of it, he doesn't seem like he's been worried about a lot of stuff lately. Is boss being a good person? At any rate... Hey, Raid, you're at least half serious about Mrs. Zune, though, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> I guess you're right about that. Don't be just saying stuff back there. We need to keep going, boss. Yeah! Or clear up these thugs! I am saddened that Boss Toro has lost its best attack. I believe it will get that back later. I'm not sure if I ever used this. Well, you did at least some, but not much. Ah. I mean, that doesn't seem very Midgard Smur to me, but Midgard Smur esque. It's nothing like the snake that encircles the world, but. Sure, Hibiki, go ahead and call it that if it makes you feel any better. Just the standard beam magnum. Go ahead and get the double kills. What did cats get? Hmm. Yes, focus. Okay. Luck and focus. Not great, but, you know, not terrible. Six with yeah, he's not gonna put that here. No. Yeah, it's gonna be a while before Sosuke is able to get up like that. Really, it just means I need to get him so I can get make use of their uh, having a fair amount of pilot points. Well, you'll be able to deal with that in well as soon as you clear as soon this as the stage. stage is cleared. Alright, I haven't used the mouse here. It's like I am brute. I was already come this close to Japan! At this rate, even Japan will. Let's fight like that happen! I'll take them out here and stop their advances! Be sure to show off the Mazinger's new move if you can. I just realized this would have been the perfect game to have Mazinger Zero added in. And why do you say that? You read the manga, right? Yeah, mostly. Think of how much of the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be pretty fitting, but... They're stealing Muppets from Earth and making them into their own? <laughs> how convenient for them. Enemies are unmanned units. It's, since they can't gather any day, there's no need to hold back, Michelle! Understood. We'll clear these guys out! Mikhail Blanc. Of course, it's Vortex missiles. Yeah. That's what all the Macrosses have. And all Michelle said there was, I'm more than happy to was like, oops, I'm more than happy to accept your feelings, though. Feelings rather than bullets. Oh, Michelle. Hey, hey, fuck. Oh. Oh, well. No one was in need of patching. No, I was trying to attack, but I forgot it has this terrible attack radius. Yeah. You're just using the Vulcans? Look at its HP. Yeah. If the Vulcans fail, something's wrong. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, truly. Still have one team you haven't moved. Oh, Ozma, as per usual. Your coloration, Ozma, is not the greatest. As a unit, you're amazing, but... But it's kind of hard to see if you've been used or not. I don't have a... I don't have a... Just barely. You know, just focus on one. Just get him down. More than enough damage. Alright. Targeting Kabiki? 
That's a bold decision. Just the Helheim again. Yeah. Weakest attack. It survived. I know. I'm actually surprised. I think he would have hit it with something stronger if he'd been in range. Ooh, Ozma's being targeted. No. Luca's being targeted. Yeah, Luca. That's what I meant. I meant to say Luca. And Luca but... has one of the best These pathetic little battleships. So far as I can tell. Because really, this is a great support attack. Yeah. On its own, Luca's very okay. I'm trying to get the Muzzinger to finish that here. Range 1 to 2. Oh, it has no will requirement. Yeah. It's just, you know, standard attack. Yeah, sure. It's left on. Eh, why not do the second one there? Something we don't see very often. Right, forgot to set the maximum break themes to off. I can do that later. Not quite Space Thunder. And now. Double Rocket Punch. Grab them back. And keep on going. Not, you know, the coolest move ever. But I guess for dynamic kill here. Fishing up with point blank breast fire. So is that cooler or less cool than the Mazen Kaiser's double punch? I mean, technically it's cooler, but I like the fact that the Mazen Kaiser's punches are clearly going out of control before they even shoot. That's just my personal thought. Oh wait, go back just one moment. Because did I point out the um, new tag command? I can't remember if I did or not. I think you did back during... Yeah, Rengoku. just as a quick announcement. There's a new tag command available. Boost Dash gives you plus five movement and ignore terrain. So for your healers and suppliers and the like, that can be really handy. Nope, just too far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, can't transform anymore. No, she can, can she? No, Destroyed Monster isn't a... Oh, I see. Alright. It stopped being a transforming unit back during Z2. Right. But I mean, hey, whoever really uses the Destroyed Monster all that much anyways, haha. <laughs> you know what, Ozma, I'm gonna trust you. Do not fail me. Good. Good. Good job, Ozma. 65% chance. You being aced is a very good thing. Anti-D mode is activated. There's no way this stage is any longer. I don't think so, but go ahead and check. Yes, no. Second strongest attack. Barely weaker. Beam Magnum consecutive fire. What's was that an ammo based attack? Um yes. Two ammo, so uh yeah. Unfortunately you're not in range. You know what? No, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't let cats get the kill. I mean... They swap back to the unicorn so that he counts as getting the kill. Fine. Because, I mean, are, are you actually going to use... No. Who uses cats? Cats is marginally worse than half of... Oh, wait, I forgot to turn his attack off. It's fine. It's just, you know, ending the stage, so... Which are all of them, huh? <laughs> That's how it should be! You aren't able to say that here. They're still coming! Enemy battleships that are to the combat range! Are they attacking? Wait. That's. Looks as if the Sidereal battleship is sending a transmission to all of our units. My name is Dub is Dubberon Tau. Commander Strauss's right arm. Strauss. The 
commander of the Gaia Empire's army. <laughs> so it looks like a pretty big shot's made his appearance, huh? Is he here to try and take us out? See, Blue, I've seen the way you fight. But you should know that your resistance is pointless. You cannot win against us. Against Commander Strauss. <laughs> Did you come all the way here just to say that? If that's the case, do you want taste of our power? Wait up, you guys. General de Braun. It is true that with our fighting forces, as this fight dragged out, we may lose. But even so, remember this. We shall certainly defeat you and liberate this planet. All units, for retreat! Since we've satisfied our mission, staying here longer would be pointless. Z Blue. Hmm. I pray that you'll be able to give Strauss at least a bit of enjoyment. <sighs> Welcome back, everyone. Captain? <gasps> Did you come here because you had business? Don't worry about it. After all, since the Twelfth of Den is out gathering information right now, I was simply here on the board out to assist with tactical analysis. And there's something I need to let all of you in the mobile squadron here know. Did you guys did we find something out about Cyril? Yes. What we found out is about those ley lines. Those roads of light thingies? At the same time, the guy on part. I repeated they wanted planting those across the globe. With what we've been able to tell with... Well, well, they're made with some kind of non-Earth technology in order to, or to draw out vast amounts of energy. <laughs> As I'm certain you already know, well, we've been able to tell that, that any unit that comes into contact with them will have its energy replenished. I thought it was some like some kind of system of sending power along microwaves like the DX, but it seems entirely different, huh? It isn't certain yet, but it seems there are people who think that it's some sort of line of dimensional energy. Dimensional energy? But where on earth side are we getting that from? Don't tell me! Yes. It's highly likely that that Sadriel's been drawing the dimensional energy out of the planet in order to send it along those lines. A system just like in Salam Zones. Wait a minute. What that means? Thanks to Salam Zones going berserk, they draw out all the dimensional energy from the planet and turn it into a planet of death. Because of that, it's highly likely that if we leave the ley lines alone, same thing might wind up happening to our world here. And the Earth would be destroyed? Wait a minute. If that happens, even the Gaia Empire won't be able to get away from that. If this isn't their home world. What do you mean, Camille? From the information we've been able to gather over these past two months, it seems as if Sadriel was a force comprised of many different races from different planets. If the reason that they invaded the Earth is simply to get their hands on its dimensional energy, then... As soon as they've sucked the planet dry, they may just leave. They're just here to devour our world? Something that's hard to imagine. Sidereal has bases on that other Earth that they've been using to attack ours. The other Earth. The green Earth, right? Even though it's also Earth... Earth... Since it's also Earth, it seems highly likely that they've planted ley lines along there as well. The blue Earth and the green Earth. 
They've acquired not one but two Earths and are sucking out their dimensional energy. Captain Tessarossa, how long has the Earth got left? We don't know. It may be that if the Empire completes their ley lines, the Earth won't be destroyed. But even so, since we don't know what they're drawing out all that dimensional energy for, we can't predict what might happen. If that's the case, we just have to take them out as fast as possible. Yeah, we've got to track down all the civilians who've been missing too. Captain, hasn't there been any information from the civilians we've picked up in various areas? Unfortunately, we have yet to gather anything of note. Hello. Hello. Alright. Well, it's a vote for Green Earth. We will keep that. We will keep the Green Earth in mind, certainly, and, uh... Super Robot Wars F after this? I don't know. Well, at least we'll think about it. Out. Yes. However... As long as we're able to defeat the Gaia Empire, we should be able to know everything. Find out everything. Our target's their capital, Wrath Babylon. If the ley lines truly are a system for drawing out dimensional energy, all of the lines gather at Wrath Babylon. So if we follow the ley lines, we ought to be able to reach the enemy's main base, right? With the firepower at our disposal right now, that would simply be hurrying to our deaths. With Captain Amaro's new Gundam and my wife, 20. And I'd have been pretty badly beat up after these two battle battles. Two months of battles. Two months of battles, not two battles. Two months. We haven't been able to get into contact with the rest of Z-Blue across the globe. At this point in time, we're, we have our hands full just controlling this area. If we tried to gather Z-Blue, we could just wind up leaving gaping holes in the front lines. But even so... The scenario continues! Even if you don't say that, we know it already. Let's leave it at that for now. Miss Suzune? Everyone's tired here. After all, we've done quite a bit- we've had to do quite a bit here in this past week to get the civilians to safety. For now, at least we should take a break. After all, if we collo- Perhaps we won't be able to- We'll protect anything. Let alone take down an enemy base. It's just like Miss Suzune says. Thank you all for all of your hard work, everyone. Why don't you go back to Japan for a little bit? We'll go ahead and formulate a strategy after that. Understood. Guess that means we're going back to the school for the first time in a while. Guess so. In not too long here, everyone should be a third-year student. That is, if we don't have to get held back a year. It'll be fine. After all, I've been sure to get plenty of reports on what everyone's been doing in the Volunteer Club. Hibiki? The Earth. Our world. What the hell's going to happen to it? Yes. Earth. Asia. Uh, has retreated to the second defense line. D Trader is now available. Thanks to the fact that we used maximum rate, uh, Chimera license is now available. Brawn stuff required. Start of a long battle. Thanks to maxing tactical combo gauge, dimensional extractor S acquired. Well, not acquired, but available. Alright, so. Quickly check here. Two key things Dimensional Trader. Welcome back, Mr. Hibiki. And how was the Genian? There are no major problems. Thanks, AG. Mr. Hibiki, is something wrong with you? With me? Yes. After all, you almost never say such kind words to me, Mr. Hibiki. I mean, are you holding up okay here? You still haven't been able to get into contact with the DEM Corporation, right? Yes. Even though the prison of time was broken through and the dimensional boundaries have become more unstable, I still have not been able to get into contact with my homeworld. I wanted to let the higher-ups know about the fact that the Genian had stolen his sphere, er, and hopefully be promoted to company president. Oh well, at that time, 
I'm um, certain that Mr. Hapiki and Miss Suzune would receive a major bonus from the company. <laughs> yes, D. I guess that's something not to worry about. You're the same as always. Oh, what? Now you're just smiling eerily at me. I was trying to joke. But even so, this is a good trend. Even though the world is in massive danger, er, er, everything is the same as always. And after defeating Mr. Defeating Gadlight, you seem to have become much more human, Mr. T Mr. Hibiki. Although I know that that's something that I, as a robot, shouldn't exactly be saying. It's just like Alto's been saying, Alto and the others have been saying. I feel like I've relaxed a little, some. I see. So that's the reason that you are no longer as tech to turn as you were. What? I guess that's a good thing. I'm somewhat surprised he feels that way. Thanks, though, AG. At least I was able to carry out one of my goals. If you truly wish to change your image here, may I recommend cutting your hair as well? I'm going to have to decline that. But if I'm able to do that, then I'll... Well then, as you head off to another new goal, Let's go at it with full energy! Today as well. Let's get to selling! So that's how you're ending it, huh? Ah, yes. And as of today, the new parts that I've acquired over these past two months have been stocked in the D-Trader. In addition, the Z-Crystal is activatable as well. Z-Crystal? Part of the D-Trader's new menu. Ooh. By paying enough Z-Chips, you can grant special bonuses to your entire team. I was put it a different way. You can win using the power of money! I guess that's kind of a weird description, but... What are you saying, Mr. Hibiki? After all, the sea crystal is like a crystallization of the soul of a dimensional merchant. And a symbol of hope towards the future. Alright, alright. I'll be sure to take a look at it later. In addition, as the D-Trader, I will give special celebrations for any new pilots who come an ace by striking down 80 or more enemies. So everyone, be sure to do your best! So, D-Trader. Got the Camaro license available, and a Magical Extractor S. So, other items become available at Clear Chapter 12. Clear Chapter 12. Acquire over 10,000 Z-Chips. Uh, command Level 4. Have a repair kit, propellant tank, and cartridge. Uh, have any ally drop below 20% HP. Get over uh, like 3 million money. Have an ace. Deal more than 15,000 damage in a single hit. Uh, destroy more than 5 units with a single map attack. Right, it doesn't go back up to the top. Uh, get custom bonuses on 5 mechs. Have a pilot with over 500 PP earned. Pilot with over 120 SP. Use drive. Acquire an emblem. Uh, have any robot with HP and energy at rank 10. Use hot blood. Use resupply. Uh, destroy an enemy who is at least 12 squares away. Uh, map attacks are not included. Uh, have a pilot who has rank 3 support attack and support defend. Upgrade Z crystals to grade 3. Uh, and buy 5 extra parts off the D trader. So, and Z crystal. So this is something we really want to do. Buy the first 3. So. Uh, the grade 1 skill is something like the professor's magic eye or something like that. Scans Not all bothering enemies. to re really do yes. Scans all enemies automatically. 400 crystals. That's cheap. Akrasu has as the demon eye of omniscience. Okay, sure. We have the Fought second one here. Iron chains of the immortal. Okay. Uh, at start of allied phase, your combo gauge is automatically increased by one. Reclining dragon laying in wait. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, this one is also very important. At suborders, you get plus 30 PP, plus 3 kills, plus 750 experience, and 
level times 450 money. So basically it gives an additional, you know... 50%. Yeah, an additional 50% to all of your suborders. And then at grade 4 and 5... You pick. Yeah. Thanks to upgrading the Z-Crystal to grade 3, Fox's Mask is now available at the D-Trader. Of course it is. So, the options at grade 4 here... Well, it looks pretty now, doesn't it? Yeah. Are uh, one that is upon map clear, you get uh, Z-Chips equal to 5 times the number of destroyed units. That one just pays for itself. You get money equal to 1 20th of the damage you dealt to enemies. Or PP equal to one quarter of the enemies destroyed. Then at grade 5, uh, upon deploying, all units gain plus 1 tag tension and plus 5 will. Uh, all units start with a uh, wall. Or all units pilots gain plus 20 SP at the start. There's only one clearly wrong option there. The start wall. with wall. I mean, I would definitely go for the tag tension as well. Up. Yeah. It's pretty good, but... Yeah. And just quickly check here. The fox's mask. Fox's mask. Upon deployment, main pilot starts with max SP. Okay. So not bad. Alright. Random items we have now, just to see so, what they are. We have the barrier field. Crest of Jigoku. Plus 30 critical, and all-terrain ratings have become A. Okay. And Crest of Rengoku, uh, plus 10 will cap, plus 10 starting will. If you equip multiple of them, it will not stack. Repair kit, and DG Fang. Okay. Um. You know, I actually don't think we have anyone at the start for whom the DG Fang would be that helpful. But yeah, even no. so. I'm just not going to equip or do that for now. There was something I specifically wanted to get. That's just SP plus 5. So. Ups, energy save. I mean, it's... The Zeta energy save is probably a safe bet. Yeah. Unless you're going for a will limit break or something else crazy. Yeah, let's just go for energy save on the Zeta. Unicorn. It's more of a question. Probably one of the will ops. Probably. Probably will up on enemies destroyed. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say let you keep the stronger attacks. Okay, yeah, there's only one energy based attack. Bullet so Skate probably wants bullet save. Really just most of the Macross people want bullet save. It's just a safe first skill for them. Mm-hmm. Except Osma. No, Osma. Except yeah. Because he's already got energy save. Could get hit in the way. That would be a good option. Yeah, sure, get hit in the way. Muzzinger. Uh, I'd go for energy save. Yeah. Nice that we're able to do these immediately. Bullet save. Yeah. I was debating between bullet save and... Actually, blow. I don't know that you need a bullet save on him. Nice. I mean, he's got a lot of ammo for that shot cannon, which is his main attack. And I think that only goes up when you upgrade him, so... Let's get Will up on him for now. Try and get that Lambda Driver active. Mm -hmm. Energy. Definitely. Yeah, he needs energy save before he needs Will. I was going to say, I don't think he really needs either. Still, so just going to go ahead and go to him. And that's good enough for now. Not going to bother with equipping anyone for the moment. Equipping or upgrading. Because we can leave that for next bit. Oh, huh. What? This is now listed separately. Yeah, still has the same upgrades, but... Oh, hey, it has 200 more 
it has 40 more energy. And 200 armor, and a lot of HP. Alright, stage 2. Ah, that took an hour. Yep. We are back to Japan. Back to Jindai High. And a couple of people are waiting for us. Angrily, it seems. What a Shotaro? How cruel, Mr. Alto! Why did you leave us in behind Japan and go and deploy on your own? That's, uh... I heard from Commander Otsuka. You guys were fighting on the front lines in Central Asia. I apologize for the fact that we... We left without talking to you. I just wanted to leave you here to protect Japan. Since Shinji and the others have gone back to Nerve, Irv and Colin, and Ro Colin Roma and the others aren't here in Japan right now. We couldn't afford to, leave, afford to have everyone head out. What? Did you guys hear I said that from the start? Eric, we wouldn't have been so mad. <laughs> Sorry. But I'll be sure to do some grilled trend later. So please let us go. Be sure to promise that. We'll keep you to it. Shotaro? All right then, we'll head off to school, so excuse us here. But be sure to let us know next time you guys head off. Later then, everyone! Say hi to Mrs. Zune for us! <sighs> nice job, Hibiki. Leaving Wada aside, it looks like you weren't able to fool Shotaro. After all, even I can't win against an IC trained member of the ICPO. There's nothing to be done, is there? Pikes from now on are only going to get more vicious. We can't afford to drag them into it. We'll leave Wata and Jotaro here for defense. That's our will. You think I'm naive for doing that? There are no problems. It's the optimal course of action. Something you said to me before. Er, don't drag battles into your daily life. I think at this point in time I understand what you meant when you said that. That's so. Hey there, everyone! Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Kaname. Hmm, good to see everyone safe. And it's good to see you are safe. Well then, everyone. And did you make sure to write it? Your career form. Your career forms for the future. Huh? I think Miss Suzune said something about that. But uh, a lot of stuff happened and. Don't tell me. None of you guys wrote anything, did you? I cannot deny this. Uh, we've still got time until morning, homeroom. So be sure to write something at least. All right, class representative. All right, let's get going then. After all, everyone in the class wants to see you guys in the volunteer club. Is that so? <laughs> Has been about ten days, hasn't it? Yep. All right then, let's go. <laughs> Looks like Chidori's cheerfulness is rubbing off on you. I suppose? Sosuke, sure to keep her safe. What's wrong, Hibiki? Suddenly... I don't know. I just... thought that. Is that so? <sighs> it's winter, isn't it? I suppose so. I mean, it's supposed to be like... January, February, something like that. Jindai High, Year 2, Class 4. Oh, come on, guys. No matter where you were, you should have at least been able to write, write your career aspiration forms. I mean, come on, we didn't have a choice. We were really busy there. So where are you guys picking up garbage this time? Uh, you do realize that the Volunteer Club doesn't just go around picking up garbage, right? Huh? Is that true? How many times have we explained this to you guys? 
Haha, <laughs> hearing Alta button like that. That makes th things feel better. But even so, we're worried. You, you guys have been offering your volunteer stuff so long that your, your advancement's in danger here. You're, and when you guys do come by school here, you always seem really tired. You guys. Thank you. Sorry we've worried you so much. Is it obvious, Laka? After all, we're classmates. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. And besides, if you guys didn't, weren't working hard, then who'd repair the shed by the shed for the bicycle storage? So that's what you're going to be for? Yep. We're leaving it to you, President of the Volunteer Club. What's wrong? I've just been thinking about it this whole time, but. Kind of wanted to part of the volunteer club too, right? Yeah, that elementary. Yeah, that Intertech Elementary School kid, right? I heard that the Tractor G7 of the Takeda General Company did a lot. did a lot during the Time Prison War. Could it be that. that Sakura and all the rest of the volunteer club are also? You really like things. Conspiracies like that, don't you? You're just thinking way too much. After all, oh, well, even Kanan's always saying that Sakura's just some crazy war, some crazy war maniac, right? I guess. It's been almost ten minutes here. Is it really that hard to try and figure out what to write down for your career aspiration form? Yes. Well, at any rate. Does it really matter? Just put something down. You can always revise it later. I can't even think of something right just for now. Oh, come on. Something like, I'm gonna go to college, or I want to try and take up this an apprenticeship at this job, or something. But I don't really know any of those. Worrying about something I don't know is... Hurry up, Sosuke. Homer's about to start. What did you write down, Hibiki? I said I want to take up my dad's job. So you want to go off and be a beast hunter? Yes, just quick reminder here. Sosuke's dad, uh, no, Hibiki's dad, uh, spent a lot of time in Alaska hunting dangerous beasts that had wandered in from other dimensions. Not, you know, dimensional beasts, but giant grizzly bears and things like that, so. Quite an interesting job. But. If you end up doing that, you're gonna leave Japan, aren't you? Probably. After all, most of the beasts show up on the North American continent. And what about that nurse friend of yours? Ibiki? I, I haven't been able to get in contact with her much lately. Uh, I guess there's nothing to be done with it. After all, let's turn the nurses are really busy right now, right? There's also the possibility of some when carrying out electronic warfare and hijacking the communication lines. Ah, oh, Sosuke. As always, we can't understand what you're thinking. It's fine, though. I'll be sure to drop by, by the hospital after classes. Come to think of it, Shin and Misaka were both there, right? Have you been able to get in contact with them? There's no need. As long as they aren't trapped with his bloodstained eyes anymore, that's fine. Hibiki? <laughs> Hibiki's done? All of us are done? What's left to you, Sosuke? I understand where you're feeling, Sagara. After all... Oh, with that Kai Empire closing in here? Who knows what the future's gonna have? Yeah. Uh, the Federation military's just gotta try their best. Because everyone was afraid of a panic, they've been hiding the situation on the front lines from the civilians, haven't they? So I guess everyone in Japan here, the war's still far away, huh? I guess that's better. Yeah, I think so too. Alright everyone, get in your seats! Looks like no one's missing from the volunteer club either. It's been a while, Miss Suzune. 
Thank you for all of your hard work with the Volunteer Club. Thank you. It's happy to see. It's good to see everyone doing well. Although there's someone over here who's sweating bullets. <sighs> the career aspiration form, huh? Huh? There's plenty for thinking so hard about your future here, but I intend to give everything I have. Okay, who is that? And you know it's against school rules we'll leave your phone on in classroom. I'm sorry, teacher. Her, her, but I, Sato Mayalto, have some merchant personal business to take care of. It'd be dangerous for you to go alone, Alto. I'll stick with you. I'll go get my bike. Saka, call a taxi! Alright. Need bus? Be sure to take care of everyone's gear. Heh, leave it to me! Oh, wait a minute. Everyone! It's Kagura. Uh, I'll go hear what's going on from them. Kashiro, Sakura, help me out. Understood. I shall endeavor to get this career aspiration form headed in as soon as possible. Wait, wait. you miss Saijo? So everyone in the volunteer club's left yet again? Looks like it. Good luck, Sosuke. Everyone. Chapter 2. Things to Protect. Also, just an interesting place we're deploying in. So I immediately realized it. I see that our squads have been jumbled a bit. Uh, um, uh, do, do you want to go back and um, mess with those? That should be one of these, right? Yeah, second one. Team. Top one there is team formation. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, and you've okay. got a free loadout. You can't fly. You can't fly. I was going to say Mao would be a good fit, but Mao and Kurtz have been deployed on their own. And we've got the Twelfth of Dedanon. That's perfectly fine. The Dragon is grounded. The Gundam Mark II is grounded. The Bjorn Custom is not grounded. Oh, so I wasn't. Wait a minute. What? No, not there. Uh, pilot skills. Second slot. Uh, give boss resupply. If possible. Nope, 350. Oh well. It was a nice thought. Now deploy your teams. Oh, this is... Yep. Yep, it's Aquarius City. Oh, and the wall is broken. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yes, the Berlin Wall has come down. Yeah, good enough. And there's the Twelfth of Devon. Mm-hmm. Barely visible there, but... The Malcolm group that the Twatha Dead Anon had reported should be arriving in Aquarius City any moment. This route. Note. Looks like their target targets Tokyo 2's Jindai High. Does this mean that they're targeting Miss Chidori again? Most likely. Yeah. It seems if Leonard Testarossa is especially targeting Miss Kaname. I'm not just certain from the reports the information division has sent to us. Why? Is it that they want her for her whispered abilities? If that's the case, it would have been far easier for them to directly kidnap her, but... Captain? I'm fine. You don't need to worry, Mr. Mardukas. Commander of Amalgam. Learned Testarossa's... Captain Testarossa's older brother. But why on earth is he a part of Amalgam? But even so... If Tokyo 2 is their goal, then why would they go out of their way to go through Aquarius City? I suppose that's just because of Malcolm's terrorism. <sighs> Even though all humanity is in danger here, what the hell are these idiots thinking? 
Even back during, during the time prison war, that they were cooperating with the Geminis, weren't they? If that's the case, they sure... If that's the case, they sure just surrendered to the Gaia Empire. It's always they're doing completely unintelligible stuff. Malcolm, what on earth are they plotting here? Lieutenant Clouseau, why have you assigned me and Hibiki together here? It's Major Mao's orders. Why did you ask her? If you want to know, then I'll tell you. We just decided to put the problem children together here for closer observation. Wait a minute. Leaving Sosuke aside, you're putting me in that group? Uh, not quite sure how to directly say this, but, uh, something about drunkards are the ones who are least likely to admit they are drunk. Okay. Give it up, Hibiki. After all, well, the fact that you're Sosuke's friend makes you more than enough of a weirdo. Is that something you can really say, though, Captain? Uh. If you're gonna say that, then that would mean that everyone in the Volunteer Club is weirdos, right? What are you saying, Camille? He'll... The volunteer club's but a small subsection of Z-Blue. In other words, that includes you two. What? So... We're all just a gathering of weirdos? Don't worry about it. After all, who cares about the common sense of the world? Well, I mean from Sidereal's point of view, since we've refused to give up and keep on fighting, I'd say we're all pretty weird. It's more than fine. I mean, I'm more than happy to be labeled a weirdo if it means we don't give up. Yeah. Besides, it's flu idiots like that. That there's no way we'd be able to beat them. At any rate, is are we just leaving Wat and Shotaro behind since they want to participate in this gathering of weirdos? Is there a problem with that? Something that you guys decided. I have nothing to say about it. Even so, well, with the forces we have, we can't afford to spare extra units. That's right. Wait, after all, everyone in Z Blue's been scattered, and we don't even know where the elements are. So right now, most Satan Academy is unmanned, huh? Yep, no one there. Apparently, Amada and the others are. Undergoing individual actions on Commander Fudo's orders. Can you not get in contact with them? He's that tune like Commander Fudo, after all. Of course we can't. They don't even have any phones they can use. It could be they've gone back to their own world. It is true that he was able to. That Fudo was able to warp across time and space. He's able to do stuff like that? Commander Fudo has powers that has anything humanity can imagine. And I can't say it's impossible. And we also don't know what Zen Fudo has to do with Gen Fudo that we know. There's nothing we can do about a guy who isn't here. All we can do is use everything we've got at our disposal to take out the enemies here. That's how it is, Volunteer Club. If you want to protect your precious school, then put some guts into this! Understood. Don't worry. I'll be sure to protect you. Malcolm has arrived. All units, prepare to intercept. Isn't that fun? They've got a behemoth. And a lot of scope dog pick units. <laughs> These idiots have shown up, huh? Looks like the front lines are just cannon fodder. The problem is... That... Let's see. Unlike other units, that behemoth has already activated his lambda driver. It's most likely that it's got it equipped with special AI. No. Yeah. I refute that. It's most likely a matter of the operator. Fairly said out there, I'd 
chattering at the operator. <laughs> so in the end, we've drawn the short straw yet again of dealing with them. But hey, I guess we're perfectly suited for dealing with them. Let's go wild. Understood. But even if we say that... That... No matter how tough we may act, we're at a disadvantage here. Can we truly win like this? So. Destroy all enemies. Don't let Sosuke, Mao, Kurtz, or Hibiki die. Don't let a battleship die. As our point is, before the map ends, get max tactical combo gauge. Okay. Remembering who I put with him. Yep. Is there no transformation quick swap button? No, that's. Right. That's only an alpha. Yeah. I've been playing a lot of alpha 2 here, as I've mentioned before, and alpha has a both quick swap your squad. And a quick swap your transformations button. It does not have a quick set for spirit commands, though. I would say, um, quick is also relative. No, no, it's not exactly slow to do that. You have to cycle through everything. Hmm? You have to cycle through all your party. Well, ah, just barely not good enough. Yes, but it's a single button press per swap, so. For only four people, that's not bad. Either the Jagan or the no Boss Boro. It's your rejects team. Keep in mind that I believe enemies are mostly up and somewhat to the right. Yeah, attack before moving. Ah, uh, Tuatha de Dunan. She's a good ship. Even if she can't freely fly. Yeah, I believe the enemies are mostly up and to the right. Yeah. Just as a kind of, by the way. Kochi. Just barely not. Oh, let's go for someone else. But for who? Captain Murrow? Captain Murrow. Captain Murrow! Because I'm pretty sure he's a captain. He deserves yeah, it after all. He... I believe he's a lieutenant. Well, Murrow deserves whatever ranks they can give him. Taichi. Hi. Maybe? Whatever. Amuro's been through enough, he deserves whatever ranks the military can give him. Grand Admiral of the military. <laughs> Grand Admiral. No. Because, unlike Char, I don't think Amuro is very good at the whole... You know, oh, Twitch shut down. I don't think Amuro's too good at the whole, you know, dealing with the big picture. He's very good as a pilot, but not necessarily talented as a commander. He'd be better. All, he always left all that stuff to Bright. He'd be a lot better as an ambassador of sorts. After all, everyone knows Amuro Ray. Yeah. He even had toy lines based on him. Indeed. At least as Haro did. Yeah. One truly has to wonder... Wait a minute, what? What? Um, just keep on going, but whenever you get back to your turn, uh, check... Mikhail has support defense. Yes, check his stats for me, would you? Okay. Because there's something I thought I saw there, which seemed very strange to me. Which I will let you know if and when I see it. Of course, none of them are moving. 
Of course, I mean, it's Behemoth. Yep, it is. He's equipped with a shield, even though... Okay. Even though he's in flight mode. They're All shield equipped. Are. Because I thought I saw shield defense and was like, wait a minute. it's It's got a shield even though it's in Valkyrie mode? Well, I, I guess since it can just pop its arm out whenever. It just, you know, sounds weird. Oh yeah, it sounds very weird. Remember, tactical edge. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get some kills here. A quarter cannon. Quarter cannon redo. And you've got hidden away, so that's perfectly fine. Always good to have combat capable battleships. All the battleships are combat capable. The Dragon's mm -hmm. Hive is going to be more combat capable. What is that? Because it's going to have combo attack. Uh. Hmm. Because, yes, that that's the one weird thing about Alpha 2 as I've been playing through it. The battleships. I've got one battleship. There are four battleships. <laughs> Just ensure these things die. The Mother Vanguard from Crossbone is great. It has no map attack, but it has a new type pilot. It has a new type pilot, single pilot, but with SP restore. She is very powerful. Uh, so I like having her. It's also shield equipped, which is very nice for a battleship. And then oh, okay. there's. Hmm. That was unnecessary. Okay. And then there's um, the Daikumaru from Gai King, an older series. And the Daikumaru is also really good, because it's also got it, kind of the equivalent of a new type pilot. Oh. Plus, it has. Um, a lot of really pretty powerful attacks. It's got a combo attack. It's got a defensive mode, which makes it super okay, tough at the exchange of not really having any attacks. And it gives uh, pseudo combo attacks to another really good super robot. So it's just really good. And then you've got the Rock Island and the Albion. The Rock Island's better. Now, so a nuke. the Albion from 0083. Literally, the only thing I can see it has going for it is a map attack. Other than that, it seems pretty bad. All right, to cut a bunch of enemy teams in a row. This is great. Don't let your guard down, Weber. Her. The moment you do that, you'll die. All right, all right, I got ya, I got ya. The fact that our morale isn't going down even at a time like this. Surprisingly good. We're all ready to keep on going despite the problems. The happy music playing. But wait a minute. Reinforcements? Another one of those enormous arms slaves has appeared. There's another behemoth? But that's... Even though we've had so much trouble here? Damn it. At this rate. Time like that, leave it to us! What? -a? Shotaro? Who are you? He's left us behind again? Let's see. I know, that, I know that the fight wasn't in Tokyo this time, but you told us to protect Japan, didn't you? That's... I'm just kidding. Huh? Yotaro already told me. You guys were worried about us, so you tried to leave us behind, right? 
Even so, we're members of Z-Blue. After all, no matter who we may be up against, we're more than prepared to fight against them. After all, even we've got things we want to protect. You. But we aren't the only ones who think that way. Neva? Is that Shinji? I'm sorry that I'm late, but Hayanami and I are here too. Never let you guys come to help? I convinced my dad. Wait, Commander Akari was all convinced? It took a bit of time, but in the end he said, do as you like, and I was able to launch. Wada, Shotaro, Shinji. <laughs> Looks like they aren't as childish as you guys had thought. It's, it's ten years too early for you guys to be worrying about brats. It's just like Miss Mao says. After all, we understand your feelings, but don't be too harsh. After all, to me, you guys are just the same kids as Wada. Uh, something to be protected. Or something to be protected? That's right. After all, well, from me, from the point of view of Miss Kid Suzune over there, you guys are all about the same age anyway. Mao, you're going too far. Or, oh, and what are you thinking there? Or, Madonna of the Volunteer Club? I didn't mean. <laughs> Suzune? What? Suzune's really. Oh, come on, everyone. Uh, what's going on, Miss Kathy? I don't know. Kiki, quit throwing this stuffy old laughter there! Everyone, we're in the middle of combat, remember? But even so, that pressure that was crushing the squadron has disappeared in an instant. Right, come on, you brats! Enemies are waiting for us! Let's go, Sosuke! If you don't want to be protected all the time, then show us you can fight for yourself! This isn't a matter of protecting or being protected. We're allies, aren't we? Hmph, can't you sing it? So let's go! Oh, you sure to teach that giant monster? Be sure to prepare yourself! I'm ready at any time! Let's go! Lambda Driver Online. And now. Different Unlocked. Animations. No, unlocked! Three man combo. Hurry, you bastards, you ready? Anytime. No matter where. Let's rock and roll. Let's make this flashy. All right, fish it off, Sosuke. Borrowing Kurtz's rifle. Earth Strike combo attack has been unlocked. Although I don't really know if it's any good. How is that giant? And if you wind up putting pouring this much light at you, your bright barrier won't stand up, right? Preparing itself with its lambda driver? <laughs> How persistent! I'll finish it off! And so now, this should be the slightly different lambda driver. His assault attack. Bye bye, Behemoth. More than enough damage to kill you twice, kill you one and a half times over. Also, try to have Sosuke defeat the Behemoth. Any more? Enemy arm slave has been confirmed destroyed. Lambda driver is functioning normally. That attack was not bad. <laughs> that roundabout way of explaining things, there really is something wrong with your, your AI, isn't there, Al? 
However, it is true that the enemy has been destroyed. No. It's not been fully confirmed that the enemy is quite destroyed yet. Proclaiming victory before the enemy has been completely annihilated is the sign of a third-rate fool. Is it not? Oh, shut it. And just as you say, we'll hurry up and take care of the rest of them. Then they go back to their original spots. Incredible. Miss Mao, Mr. Kurtz, Mr. Sosuke. But we can't afford to lose here either, can we? After all, if we don't do anything here, there'll be no point to our having come. It's just as you say, President. Let's go, Ayanami. Yes. Go for it, Tetsujin! Ox! The enemy's trip card reinforcements have been defeated. I hear their morale's faltering. I'll take them on a single go. But you should. Don't let Shinji or Rei die. Okay. So, we now have... Trider G7. Oh, please tell me they didn't. What? They paired the Evas not with each other, did they? No, the Evas are with each other. Oh, okay. He's out the shuttle. Okay. So yes, we have Trider G7. Precedent, prevail level 4. Plus 10, starting well. Trider Missile, Trider Cutter, Trider Javelin. Trider Beam Cannon, Trider Saber. New attack, Wing Cutter. Which has an S in Sky. Ooh. <laughs> and Trider Bird Attack, as always. Then over here we have the shuttle with Celery Man, Support Attack Level 1, Support Defense Level 1. Energy resupply, missiles and beam. Over here we have Tetsujin 28 and Ox. T Melee, hammer punch, rolling attack, flying kick, Tetsujin full power. Prevail, support attacks, will up on damage. Prevail, support defense. And he's got the underdog soul. Ah, Ox. How nice for him. Do not invest in his skill. Yeah, no. Melee, electrical waves, and Black Ox attack. And finally, we have the Evas. 51% sync rate. Prevail level 3, will up on hit, guard. ET field, umbilical cable, berserk, blah blah blah. Rifle, knife, gatling, everything. And he's got the sniper rifle. Yes, and then we have unit 0, rifle. Tackle. Support attack level 1, support defense level 2, spiritual defense. Oh, berserk. Yes, it has berserk. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out what the third command, oh, what the yeah. third thing was. Don't let Shinji or Rei die. That's all you need to do. Yeah, letting Shinji die would be... Difficult. Bad. And painful. Why don't you get Trider moving? Show off its new attack before long. Also, just as a thought, who actually ever uses Trider Bird Form? Yeah, it can't transform in this. Could in Z2, in Z2, it could transform. You do Trider Bird Mode, but like no one ever uses Trider Bird Mode. Cause I mean, Trider, it's it's just not. It's not worth it. It's close enough <coughs> I can see it. No, it is not. I don't think. Yeah. No. <coughs> they have to be like right next to each other. Die mode activated. So I could probably hit from there. Nope. Nope, not quite. Both of the Dunning can still wind up attacking quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Most enemies should be pretty bad at underwater combat, even so. So the Twath of Dunning is pretty safe, regardless. Probably the Behemoth is the only dangerous thing. But I don't think it's really able to get over to where 
which Rafa Dudanen is. At least not easily. Because it's in a pretty landlocked spot. Oh, I got something. Let's see. Yeah, nothing particularly weird's happening at this point in time. Everything's just kind of oh, wow. standard. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're just busily wiping out what we can of Amalgam's forces. Lock on and focus, all they've got. You just go ahead and focus. I was going to say, but, but does that really matter, considering Eva's... Dad... Even though the entire world is being wrapped up in battles, why would you just sit there silently and watch it all? Ikari. I'm fine, Ayanami. I can't... I need to not think of anything unnecessary here. Here. You know I'm a member of Sea Blue. So fight with everyone here! And next chapter, say goodbye to Rei. You're never seeing her again. What do you mean? We get Rei back. Don't we? For a certain value, yes. <laughs> eh. She doesn't have a personality. She... She's disliked in the community for good reasons. Or at least, reasons. No. Will the final film fix any of that, if it ever gets released? <laughs> Yay, coronavirus. The final film's a joke at this point. It's just one of those things like Duke Nukem Forever, where it's like, it's been going here, it's been hyped up for years, but will it ever actually release? It's got to be better than Duke Nukem Forever. There's oh, physically no way it can't be. Should have turned on the art there, but... But yes, I would say you're almost certainly correct about There's that. There's physically no way it can be worse. You're letting them get it rather than Captain Amaro? Yeah. No, it's just strike. what I want to say. 30 energy and 110 will. Hit all, post movement, 1 to 3. Not bad. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, I just wanted to see what that was. I was going to say, and there's also the fact that all of the Gernsbacks will get better in this game. Yeah. Because they're going to get the Fairy Feather system. On Rapid, we're feather? unlikely fairy to eye? do. Fairy Eye. It's one of those two. The yeah. Fairy System. What just happened there? Amaro had act again. No, it was, uh... The control went very far right. Okay. Well, drift happens sometimes. On older controllers. Yeah, as I said. Right, Behemoths is very unlikely to get... To Vitwatha Dudanan. Vigor and cheer. Do do do. Is it just those? Yeah, it's just those left. Yep. So everything's going pretty well. Who needs hit chances? I would say some people do. But... No, not everyone. Oh, hey. You got flash flash plus. plus. Mm -hmm. But that's just a thing he has. Not enough will to use his combined assault, but more than enough to smack the behemoth some. Might as well have flash plus on. Yeah, I figure as much. Oh, right. Yes, they have their own barriers. I forgot about that. It's a null type barrier, right? Yeah. Mm, actually, I don't remember. Uh, no, it is a reduced type barrier. Cool. Which means, you know, far more painful. Because reduces are always worse than null. Or better if it's your team. 
Can you focus? Yes, you do have focus. Out of range because you transformed Michelle. Let's bring down your rifle. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Ah. Nope, not gonna work. Alright, yeah, let's just transform back. Yep, just zip up and impact cannon plus whatever you can do. Not nah, quite nah, enough nah. wheels, so. Alright. Just go. Yep, shield defense plate in again. Seriously, you got hit on that low of a chance. Gatling gun. Versus all weaponry. Yeah, just... I expected the Gatling gun did nothing. Also, yes, uh, next chapter we lose the Evas and don't get them back till chapter 23. So. Which It'll is be earlier a while. than I was expecting. But hey. So, what were you saying about don't get the tall goose? You don't get it on that route, do you? Oh, okay. Alright, everyone! You guys ready? Of course, President! The entire plant's in danger! We'll fight too! That's right. Our company's finances are important, but the Earth's peace is even more important! And since it's come to this, let's go with a bang! With a bang! Ah, whenever I look at Kinoshida, I'm all. I immediately get nervous here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll just fight in our own way here. Let's go, villains. There's people like you who are rampaging as much as you like when the Earth's in danger. The Takeda General Company will take you out. Let's see. I'll definitely be sure to protect my mom, Sachi, and Kaoru. And now a new attack, I think. G7! Change Eagle! <laughs> we Wing attack. Okay. I feel like hitting it with the head would be slightly more effective, honestly. Eh. I mean, it's like the Scrander attacks. Don't you think? It's like a budget Scrander. Sure. Budget Scrander. That's a glorious way of describing it. Oh, he's got his reactive weaponry out. Mm. You don't want to launch reactive weaponry at a behemoth? No, I think that would be a bit too much. I doubt it, personally, but... Eh, yeah, maybe not. Okay. Going to cheer? First of all, I don't know if this Analyze. Will work. And if you really that's... want to make sure that's the enemy will down. Yeah, lower will by time. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I was going to ask where you had the um, Urz team, but they're far too far back. Lambda strike. You want Sosuke to get the kill for bonus Z chips. Okay. Let's see if this works. Let's see. With the current data gathered. Heard it. The unit's mobile. 
The Dean performance far exceeds expected levels. The source is most likely the operator. Is this because we let our guards down? Um, no. What he literally says is, uh, remove the strength from your shoulders, which means, like, you let loose some. And Al, of course, is questioning him, what on earth does this mean? Since you claim to have such much high learning abilities, try and figure it out for yourself. Let's see. Baifutera. Baifuteraru. I have no clue. In all honesty, I have no clue what Alice is saying here. And you're the same as always. I suppose the same could be said of you. Understood. If that's the point, if that's the case, let's youthfully go a wild here. Oh, look at that. 44 HP left. So that'd be perfect. So as long as Lambda Strike deals damage, which I it hope it does... It should. It's the strongest attack. Should pierce through barriers. Perfect. Slash, slash. Slash, shoot. Shoot, shoot. And then, I'm really surprised that this isn't a dynamic kill, this yeah. bit here. It always shocks me, shocked me the first time I saw it on a non-kill. Because really, it's very dynamic kill material. But I guess they were saving the dynamic kills for the Levitine when it shows up later on. They really loved Levitine, since it wasn't even animated at this point. Yeah. It was only... Light novels. Light novels, and, uh... Yeah, it has as much animation time put into it as the Full Armor Unicorn. A adapter acquired. The enemy Lambda Driver equipped unit has been confirmed destroyed. It is a strong unit, but it's nothing we can't fight. That's right. After all, this is the power of Z Blue. But even so. Oh, if the other Lambda Driver equipped units become mass-produced, then... <sighs> Somehow we won! Major Kellanin is pursuing the escaped mercenaries. At this point in time, it looks like today's attack was nothing more than a test of our defensive. Is, they didn't send out anything particularly noteworthy. But even so, we need to be careful. I guess you're right. Oh, I hope things will calm down a little bit with this. Thanks, Wata. Uh, Shotaro, Oxen, Shinji, too. If you're gonna say that, rather than just treating us to some curled trident, be sure to treat us to some galactic ramen! And me too! Wait a minute. Ah, don't worry about it, Tabiki. After all. Oh. The fact is, we were all saved by Wada and the others here. In other words, we've still got quite a ways to go. That is right. That's right, Mao. And so the kids would behave like kids and be treated by the adults, is that not correct? <coughs> what a splendid face that was, Miss Mao. Hey, hey, Camille, Badger, you guys come too! Is that really okay? It's just like, like Major Mao said. Good. For today, at least, let's act like kids. What should we do, Miss Mao? I... I don't have anything particularly I need to do today, but... Oh, right, right. we has gotta have guts! That's... That's... This is Mao, look out for all of you here! here. Thanks for the treat, sis! You're an adult already, Kurt! Kurtz, you're gonna be helping me pay for this, you know? Really? Alright, Shinji. So let's eat everything we can. I'm sorry. But Ayanami and I have to go back to Nerve here. Is that so? Hikari. Let's 
Seems if Nerf Nerf that scorched the pro close. Alright, we have to leave now. Thanks for today, Shinji. Let's meet again, Shinji! Yeah. Shinji. I have a report here. Even if you don't say it, I already know. The squadrons I sent towards Tokyo 2 have already been annihilated. Yes. I didn't think they would win at all. Even if if the way they are right now were their enemies. But even so, I've carried out my goal. Your goal, sir? I know that they look rather different than the standard Fullmetal Panic characters. Yeah. Clearly because they had only the light novel illustrations So they had to, to draw themselves. <laughs> so yes, they had the light novel illustrations to go off of, which look rather different than, you know, the animated version. It was a met... It was a declaration of war in my own style. L What's less than them? Very soon all the preparations will be in place. As soon as they're done, I shall go and pick her up. And if possible, a rainy day would be nice for it. Miss Kakura. Sakura? I sincerely apologize for the fact that my career aspiration form was not handed in on time. There's nothing to do. After all, well, I have from a side oh, that you and the others got caught up in a fight when you were trying to track down Saotome. Yeah. But it's lucky. But Saotome is pretty lucky, isn't he? Even though his father just collapsed, it was nothing major. Yes. I have a message from Alto as well to say that he sincerely apologizes for having for worrying you. In addition, I have something else to report. I have my report to turn into you on my career aspirations form. What? Right here and now? My aspirations for the future are to graduate from this Jinai High School! That is all! Uh Sakura. What the career aspirations form is supposed to be is what you're going to do after graduation. Eh, it's fine. Before that, you need to actually you graduate to the next year. Good luck on your backup work. Work. Yes. Yes. All the members of Volunteer Club feel exactly the same as me. Be sure to think about what you're going to do after graduation. Well then. Mission has been confirmed clear. You know, Sosuke. Strong Chidori, I'm making the same sort of face as the teacher. <sighs> the career aspiration form is supposed to be what you do after graduation, fool. I do not know what I will be doing at that point in time. So I decide I should focus on what is directly in front of me. And that's your graduation? Yes. Along with everyone else in the volunteer club, and all of my, my friends in year two class four, graduating from Jindai High School. In addition with, with defeating the Gaia Empire, that is what I view to be most important thing. Sasuke. Of course, Yidori. You're there too. You're included too. What's with that? Acting like you just remembered me after the fact? Your face is red. You cut a cold, Chidori? And you're the same as usual. Alright then. Just promise me that we'll all be sure to graduate together. Along with my promise to take you to the sea, it seems as if I've made two promises to you now. You remember that? Of course. Alright then. Those two promises. Be sure to keep them, will you? Understood. So scary. You know it's not considered polite to be polite to eavesdrop, Hibiki. I figured I shouldn't get in the way of those two right now. I guess you're right. But what's wrong? 
It's nothing. It's just that my period as an assistant teacher is almost over here, so I've got to do my best. This unknown worth has been clouding my head here. Is Suzume feeling it too? What on earth is this? Is it fear about the guy empire? Fear about the ley lines running berserk? Or is it something entirely different? What are you doing, Yubiki? Hurry up and call Sosuke. After all, I was straying us to ramen, isn't she? So we've got to make sure to be there on time. Well, I'm just gonna sit here. But I'm going without for mine without garlic. But why? Boiled eggs and garlic are the best part of the galactic ramen, right? Is that really okay though? After all, you're going to be going up to meet with your nurse friend afterwards, aren't you? Isn't it fine just to drink milk afterwards? Is it obvious that's wrong? You couldn't even meet your girlfriend for the first time in a while, aren't you? There are far too many guys in this squadron who don't understand women's hearts! I'm sorry, Clem? It's just like Clem says, Hibiki. You should study women's hearts more. Shall... Well, I think that you're the sort of person who should actually be doing that. Did you say something back there? Uh, no. I'm not going to pour any oil under this fire. Let's see. Seems as if you need to be taught a bit more on etiquette before meeting a lady here, don't you? I don't have any plans to meet anyone here, so I'll be sure to teach you. <laughs> you sure that'll work out well? Well, of course it will. After all, even if I remain alone my whole life, I'll be sure to live be fine. I guess I should learn from you, Mrs. Susan, and try to be a bit more positive. Alright then. That's right, Ibiki. You can't lose. To this unease, or to your fate. Central Asia, Seabook Base has fallen. 77.1% of the Earth has been conquered. So, we're going to go ahead and cut this for here for now. Mainly we'll due to route split. Yes. We'll go ahead and have one extra day here for the route split. We've already had someone put in a vote for the heading to Green Earth, so if no one else votes, that's probably what we'll wind up doing here. So, I hope everyone enjoys this, and uh, no matter which route we take, this will be pretty interesting and probably pretty fun. So... Hope you've been enjoying this, and we will see you tomorrow. Farewell. See you.